your interface does not have the air mode or you have recorded something with the air mode turned off and now you want to add the effect afterwards, no problem. I'm going to show you how in this video. Hey, Julian Kraus here and in my Focusrite third generation reviews, I hinted that the air mode could be simulated with an equalizer. The air mode on the Scarlett interfaces increases the higher frequencies in order to enhance the clarity of the sound and this apparently mimics the sound of the original Focusrite ISA preamps. While testing, I found out that the air mode is mostly a simple change in the frequency response, which can easily be done with an equalizer. This means that you can add this effect in post-production to material which wasn't originally recorded with the air mode, but make it sound like it was. So regardless if your interface does not have the air mode or you forgot to turn it on while recording, you can make any recording sound like it had the air mode engaged. Let me show you how. Here you can see the effect the air mode has on the frequency response of the Scarlett third generation interface. The frequencies rise towards 1 kHz and then rise again to 10 kHz. I'm thinking of rebuilding that curve by stacking two high shelf filters. A high shelf filter adds a slight rise in the response and then levels out again. This means that all frequencies above a certain point will be amplified by an equal amount. Now you can already see if you were to stack two high shelf filters with a bit of an offset you get what is essentially the curve of the air mode. I did that and tweaked it a bit so that it gets as close as possible to the original frequency response and this is what I ended up with. In yellow you can see the frequency response of the air mode and overlaid in purple you can see my simulated curve. This is very close if I do say so myself and with the biggest deviation being only 0.1 decibel there should be no audible difference between the two. By the way, please ignore the roll off below 100Hz, this is caused by the method I had to use to make this illustration. In practice it's still flat here. Here are my settings. In Audition I used two instances of the parametric EQ effect. On the first one I used the high shelf filter with a frequency of 230Hz and a gain of 1.9 decibels. And I set the slope of the shelf to the shallower option. In the second EQ effect I used another high shelf, this time with a frequency of 3500Hz and a gain of 1.9 decibels. The slope is also set to the shallow setting. And that's it. When I apply this, it makes the recording sound as if the air mode was turned on on the interface. I know that not everybody is using Adobe Audition, but you should be able to plug these settings into any parametric equalizer. Just set up two high shelf filters and insert the settings like shown. If you cannot apply the filters at once, you can even apply them separately after another to the audio and get the same result. And if your filters are not 100% accurate, don't be too alarmed, nobody will ever hear your recording in an A-B scenario, so there's really no way to spot these minuscule differences. Before I go, I want to shortly demonstrate my air mode simulation. So I'll let you listen to an audio example. The first bit is recorded with the air mode turned off, the second part, the air mode is turned on, and in the third part, the air mode on the interface is turned off again, but this time my air mode simulation is added in post. So this should sound exactly the same like the second part. So if your recording wasn't recorded with the air mode but you want to make it sound like it was, I recommend giving my EQ settings a try. That's it for now, I hope you found this interesting, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. 
I will see you all in the next one.